what is up and welcome back to the promised release of the demo for my RTS kit. So uh, when you load it up, you'll, you'll be greeted with this screen. This is exactly what would you get if you just compiled the project right off the bat. So we've got a little options section here, which will give you a, a rundown of the various options. Really should be meant to be viewed in um, in game. So it's, it's there on the top menu, but it is a little bit obscured by these buttons but not to worry we'll sort that out so let's hit the tutorial up and we'll go over the basics so to pan the camera click and hold the right mouse button and move the cursor to the edge of the screen as you can see we can move the cursor around and we're not moving anywhere but if we hold the right mouse button we will now start panning around the camera which i think you'll find is pretty sweet to zoom the camera, we scroll the middle wheel while holding the mouse button. And if we had a construction yard or an MCV right now, instead of a scout, uh, pressing the H key would center the camera on the construction yard. So with that said, let's move on to the next level. Or the next tutorial section, should we say. Right, so select sing to select a single unit, move the mouse cursor over it, hold left shift, and then click the left mouse button. Commander. There you go. You'll see a little cursor come up when you're hovering over a unit to so say you can select it. You see the little target icon? You hold left shift to select an individual one. Do the same again to deselect it. So left shift, Standing left mouse, by. left shift, left mouse. Left shift, left mouse, and hold both and drag, and you get like a little selection box, and you can Commander. select multiple units. Uh, with the unit selected, just left click anywhere and it will send them over to there and they will try and get into a nice little formation at their destination, like so. Which I think you'll find is pretty cool. Now if we were attacking an enemy, they would move and attack the enemy. Uh, you can press escape to deselect them and hold control and A to select all units. Pretty straightforward. Next tutorial. Now we're going to go over troop transports. So I've added the functionality in for APCs now. So if we select this APC, we'll see it's got five free seats. So let's select these dudes here and we'll send them in there one by one. Come on. And now if we select the APC holding left shift and click, it will tell us it's got no free seats. And if we clicked on it, just normally doing left click, it would empty it. So all the troops will come out. And again, we can control A. Select all of our units and then it will find the closest. Well, it will pick units. <laughs> Let's just say that. It's supposed to be closest one, order, but sir. that's always the case. Ready for order, sir. So then we can deploy over here, but it will only take infantry. It won't take vehicles. So if we had a bunch of vehicles selected, for instance, it wouldn't allow us to transport any of them. And that's it for troop transports. So next tutorial. Okay, now we're going to get on to base building. So to build a base, we can't access the menu until we've deployed an MCV. So we'll deploy our MCV. And so we'll click on the MCV, select it, and click the little deploy icon, it will deploy it, and it'll bring up our now our nice new base building menu. So let's building. click on the power plant. And then we'll build ourselves a power plant. Complete. Now um what will happen is you'll get this little build queue window over here in the top left and it'll start pulsing when it's finished and then you can click on that and then you can put your building down. I've made it so you can't deploy it within the confines of any other building. It has to be a certain distance away so if we move the mouse, move the mouse, there we go, that's as close as we can deploy that building. Their buildings unlock on the tech tree which is set up in the data tables for the build system. It's all very centralized and modular. Um, and what I mean by that is there's a data table that will tell you uh, how long each of these things takes to build, how long, um, uh, how much it should cost, its sale price, how much it should cost to repair, the thumbnail it should use, what are the buildings need to be prerequisite purchases before you can build this building. So you set up your data table with all your buildings and your blueprints and thumbnails and everything in there and everything else gets filtered down and, and passed through to the various things. So for example, when we go on to here, now when we've pulled this list up, it's referenced that data table. It's looked at what buildings we've got available to build and how much they cost, what their name is, what thumbnail they should be. And now what we do is when we click on this, building. it's gonna pass that information through to this widget here with the time that it should take to build, the thumbnail, and what building we're going to have when we deploy. So now when we click on this, we'll deploy that particular blueprint. So this is all defined in one place in that data table. And then that variable gets passed through to whatever needs to read it at, the, at that given time. All very straightforward, all really cool. So another 
benefit of this is we get the buildings to place as and when we want to place them so um there we go we've gone over the basics of setting up your base pretty straightforward um left clicking when you're placing a building will deploy it so if i building. go that again and we'll just show you so when we've got this building here if we can deploy it somewhere and it's not red we can use the scroll wheel to rotate it and the left click to deploy it there we go so now what if you place the wrong structure or your base gets attacked well let's have a look here so we've got our mcb now as you can see he's getting attacked by this tank over here and our turret's not firing because we don't have enough power so if we deploy our mcb now and click on it you'll notice we've got enough power for the turret to start firing but now our mcb is damaged so if we hit the right mouse button at uh, the right uh, key on the keyboard and then click on our mcb with our, our left click with the spanner icon we'll start repairing it and now our turret is taking some damage because the ai focused on it because it was the aggressor and then we can repair that as well there we go very easy very straightforward now we can also sell structures building. so if we were to build a power plant just for example just for the sake of selling it you'll notice our power will go up because we've just built a power plant so you can see there our power is high up if we sell the power plant our power will go down build another building. power plant construction complete and our power will go back up again so all the buildings depend on power so Structure um sold. if we had had um more units like more buildings that require power when we sell those the, the power will shoot back up again because it's all proportional to the amount of buildings you have that provide power and the amount of buildings that you have that take power pretty straightforward and um, obviously we've covered the tech tree to so certain structures can't be built before other structures so as we go on down the line you'll see these say building required so yeah that's pretty much it in terms of the basic controls so let's jump into the demo map provided the small 1v1 demo map establish a defensive base build up your forces and eliminate your enemy presence to emerge victorious so let's do that shall we let's dismiss this and we'll get to deploy our MCB again. Sure. Shift and click. Click the little arrow to deploy them. Lovely stuff. Check on it to see its health. And click on it again. And it toggles our menu on the right here. And you'll notice the little arrow changes direction. Depending on which. Whether we're expanding or closing the menu. Pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and start building ourselves a power plant. And getting our base up and running. So I'm going to put that there. Building. And we'll get another one on the go, because you can never have too much power. It's like... There we go. Right then, let's get Building. some refineries on the go, because money is always a problem. Construction and we'll sit this one over here. here. Not too far away. There we go, that's close market. enough. Right, let's get Building. another one on the go. As you can see, we can pass the camera around, we can zoom in and out. And we can't pass the camera at certain points, complete. which is easily definable in the camera blueprint. So you can set the max range that you can go left and right in and all that good stuff. So you can tailor it to the size of your map if you're using the, the kit version to build your own game in, which I think is pretty fucking cool. So we need a barracks now because, as you can see, additional building, building. is required. And it, like, like I say, in the data table, each of these constructions has a certain prerequisite. So for the war factory, it was a construction yard and a barracks. Now we have a barracks in play, it will allow us to build a construction yard. A war factory, sorry. Um, and these are things that you can define all in that one place in the data table. Like I say, the build time, the, the cost of the building, what buildings are prerequisites, the thumbnail, the name of the structure. It's all easily defined in one central area. And then you just create the blueprints um and tell it which blueprint to spawn so you can create any of these buildings in the data table tell it that this is the actor that you should spawn when the time runs out on this timer so when we click on this it will spawn whatever actor you told it to spawn and it will drop it at the mouse cursor location 
And as you can see, we can't deploy it over at the buildings. So let's pop it down there. And we'll get another one on the go. Uh, and as you can see, we're starting to use up our power supply now, because obviously all of these buildings require power. And when you put one down, it uses it. When it gets removed or destroyed, it stops using it anymore. It's pretty straightforward. We've got our build tree, so we've got our infantry, we've got our vehicles, and we've got our defensive structures as well as our main structures, and we can hide and close the tab at will. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. So let's grab a wolf factory and we'll pop it down next to our existing one. There we go. Now we got two of them. Now when we put a new one down, it will let's make that as our primary wolf factory. So now you'll notice that our units are coming out of the new wolf factory. We've got low power, so let's get on that. Build a power plant. And in the meantime, we'll keep churning out some light tanks. And there we go. So let's grab the towers over here. And every time we select a new building to put down, it will automatically deselect our troops. So they don't get sent to wherever we're placing that building, which I think is pretty useful. So let's get a radar center now. And we, that means we'll be able to build some medium tanks. So let's get some more Unit light training. tanks on the way. Unit training. Because I got a feeling they're gonna Unit get training. we're gonna get hit pretty soon. Unit training. Unit reporting on my way. Form those guys to break there. Training. Construction complete. Unit ready. Radar center. Let's put that right back here. So now we can have a look. Because that reveals a bunch of the terrain. Oh god. Yeah, they're gonna hit us any second now. Yes, sir. Complying. Alright, let's get some more. Training. What well, OCD is saying I need two more light tanks. Unit ready. Training. Unit ready. Ready for order, Roger. sir. Alright, there we go. Let's get those guys formed up. And we'll get Training. some medium tanks to go join them. So I got the cash. Unit ready. Yeah, they're gonna be coming any second now. As soon as I get to that waypoint. Training. Unit Unable ready. To Training. Building in progress. Unit ready. Training. Let's get some uh, medium tanks on the go. While that's while they're doing that, I'll get a tech center on the build because I want to get some. Unable to comply. Building in training. progress. Some airfields and stuff. Commander. Complying. Unit ready. Training. One. Could build another war factory and make these tanks to make some even more. Yes, sir. Unit moving under attack. Under attack. Under attack. Go, they're gonna. Wilco. Unit, unit under attack. Under attack. Unit. Yeah, we go. Under attack. Under attack. Under attack. Unit. Under attack. Unit. Under attack. Unit. Under attack. Under attack. Unit. Under attack. Unit. Under attack. Unit. Under attack. Under attack. Under attack. Unit. 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 Under they, they do have come some kind of like a little bit of breast assessment to them. It's nothing fancy, but oh god, I will attack the most appropriate target. There we go. Shut off the repairing system. So we're repairing that build in there. Standing by, moving to location. Right, let's get you guys back over there. So now we got a tech center. We need to get some power on the go. I should be able to be a build a nuclear plant though now. I just don't want to drop that too near Building. my base. Because if that goes up, it goes up. Alright, the next wave is going to be considerably bigger. Um, let's get some Training. heavy tanks. Some heavy donk. Unit ready. Training. Unit ready. Training. Construction complete. 
Let's drop this. Unit ready. Quite a ways away. Okay, now we got all the power in the world. Building. Training. Oh, yeah, here comes the next assault. They're moving off Unit to their rally ready. point. Training. Standing by. Will do. Unit ready. That's another one. Training. Standing by. Moving to location. That's Unit five, ready. Six. Unit reporting. Roger. Construction complete. Quite the assault force. Some more heavy donk. Training. Oh, this feels more and more like CNC every time I play it. It's fantastic. I love the water as well. It's pretty cool. Isn't it? Like a noise algorithm. No textures or nothing. It's just all all generated in Unreal. It's really Training. cool. Well, I want to know how many of these turrets Training. I need. Construction Hold off a wave of these bad boys. So let's go feed down. What are you doing over there? Look over here. Commander will do. Let's organize everybody up. Alright, I think that's gonna be enough. Uh, maybe you know what? I think I'm gonna have two two more turrets there. They haven't got a nuke silo yet, which is good. They do have a nuclear power plant though, which is bad, because that means they can build a nuke silo. Oh, that reminds me, I should build a nuke silo. Come on, turret. Construction complete. Alright, let's have one more. Building. Oh, here they come. Our base is under attack. Our turrets are doing the business, though. Alright, oh, no, some have got through. I'm not gonna get far, though. Get some airfields underway. Under There's the insane amount of turrets seem to be enough. Moving to location. Oh crap. Repairing. They're after my tech center, the bitches. How are they building up my forces right now? Not too bad, so you can demonstrate the hate back to the home function. Construction complete. Right, let's get some airfields down. Because if they're going to build up some bombers. Or a nuke silo, I need to be able to get over there. Pretty sharpish. So I'm at. Standing by. Oh, well, my army is a little bit the worse for wear. 
But, you know, all in all, they're actually holding out pretty well. I will say that. Alright, so let's get another airfield. Yeah, as I was saying about the options to have, so if you need to have a refresher of the controls, you can always look there. Construction complete. Let's get some bombers. Building. Low power. Oh shit! I need to... Oh god. Oh yeah, I need to sort that out. Pretty sharpish. Oh god damn it! Build, 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 Alright, right, power plants. Building. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, come on, come on, come on. Low power. Oh, I need another one. Building. I need another one. Shit, 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 shit. Construction unit, unit under attack. Under attack. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, the trick. Pretty Under sweet. Attack. I have my bombers. Repairing, 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 repairing. Commander. All right, let's send you off over here. Oh yeah, hit that, hit that, hit, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh Under yes, attack. and it took the new plant with it. Oh crap, I lost my bombers though. I don't currently have the ability to make them, so I'm gonna have to send it over. Yes, sir. On my way. Where do these little sneaky fox keep coming from? Are they slinking around in there. Alright, okay. Let's, let's move out, lads. I reckon we've built up enough. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's get some helipads. Show off the helipads. I didn't build myself a nuke silo either. We'll go. Are you guys form up there? Oh god, they built another nuke they Construction <laughs> complete. Okay, alright, let's get some helipads down. Right, let's get Building. Some Ready for orders, sir. Alright, come over Roger. here. Construction complete. Building. Some more on the go. Unit reporting Moving to location. Complying. Complying. Target confirmed. Get that bastard. Oh, they're going to attack my base again. In fact, in like one guy, I can tell. I can tell. One, there we go. Building. Get some helos for defense. Commander. Engaging target. Unit under attack. Hostile Take out enough power plants. I think that's a new plant there. Unit under attack. Just go straight for the base defenses. Move unit to attack. Under attack. Target confirmed. Unit under attack. Target confirmed. Yeah. Orders received. Engaging and under attack. Engaging and under attack. Under attack.
Moving to attack. Unit under attack. Received. Unit under attack. Engaging target. In the power plant. Moving to attack. That. They don't have a Texan. How have they got? A new... <laughs> Did they get a nuclear missile silo without a Texan? I thought I wouldn't know. We'll go. All right, set this out. Unit under attack. Oh no! No side of fight. Are you guys gonna auto fight? Yeah, you should auto fight. Unit under attack. Unit, unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit, unit under attack. Under attack. There we go. Unit lost. Under attack. You're gonna auto fight. Yeah, there we go. Unit under attack. Orders received. There we go. Sweet. We'll go. Right now, Orders we received. should be pretty good. I'm gonna build a new silo. Just so I can show off the the nuclear weapons. Orders received. So let's get rid of that barracks. It's the only thing I got left. Wilco. I'll take out this turret. Unit. Unit. The last remaining Unit. unit. Sweet. Alright then, lads. Commander. We'll go. And back to base. Job well done, I say. We'll uh, we'll finish off the rest of them with a nuclear missile. Oh god, actually they do have a few units over there. They had a nibble at my tech center again. Ready for orders, sir. Standing by. Affirmative. Let us send the helos after Affirmative. him. Affirmative. On my way. Engaging See how well you guys get on. Construction complete. Drop down our nuclear missile silo. We got our missile. I need to weapon button charging. Oh, he looks did pretty well. There we go. I should all come back to their helipads. Job well done, lads. Unit reporting. Low Didn't even power. take any damage, right? Okay. Let's hit them again. Orders received. Low power. APC. Low power. Oh, we Engaging can just pick target. them all. I can't retaliate Hostile quick enough. Confirmed. Hostile confirmed. Low power. Moving to attack. We'll go. Engaging enemy. Engaging enemy. Received low power, and then they're gonna go RTB, you boy. Our nuke should be ready soon. Low power, oh, let's build a fucking Building. power plant. Nuclear weapon available. Complete. Oh, sweet, our nuclear weapons available. Select target. Nuclear weapon launched. Unit lost under attack. That should... Should have been mission accomplished, unless they've got a building somewhere I don't know about. Ready for we'll orders, go. sir. Will do.
Wilco. Complying. Complying. Well, that's neither here nor there anyway. You can define your own wing criteria. I've got a I've got a feeling they may have spawned one of their buildings inside these lumps of terrain. But you can Roger. define your own wing criteria. Roger. I just had it. it was all the enemy buildings and units destroyed. And if that was true, then the player should win. But clearly something's gone wrong with that. Either way, that is the demonstration of the kit. It will be available in the link in the description um, as soon as you see this. So if you want to go and grab it and have a play for yourself, do feel free to. to location. So majestic. All right, um, I hope you like that. If you want to contribute to the project, feel free to send some support my way on PayPal. Um, the link will also be in the description for that as well. So yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.